Promotional consideration for Amazing Plastic the Scale Model Show is brought to you by Tenet Controls, makers of scale model lighting systems. Tenet Controls brings models to life. Visit them today at tenetcontrols.com. And by Paleo Acrylic Paints, with a wide range of highly pigmented colors specially formulated for models and miniatures. Paleo Acrylic Paints sold at hobby stores worldwide. Hey, welcome to Amazing Plastic, the Scale Model Show. I'm your host, Richard Cleveland. Thanks for joining me today. This is the first episode of Season 2, and we're so happy to be back uh, with you uh, with all your modeling uh, questions and and hopefully giving you some insight and some help into building your next scale model. Uh, We've got, uh, we had a really rough Season 1. It it kind of ended it a little bit abruptly. Um, We apologize for that, but uh, there were some things happening uh, personally that uh, we couldn't uh, avoid and that we had to put our energies and focus into. Uh, but we are back for season two, and I'm so glad that you're with me today because we have got a jam packed season for you this year. We've got my good friend Robert Litwin coming by uh, in, a, in a couple of episodes uh, coming up. Um, we're going to be taking his old Defiant that he built when he was a kid. And we are going to rebuild that. We're going to strip all the paint off of it. Uh, We're going to rebuild the kit. We're going to put some lighting into it. And we're going to show you how you can take an old kit and make it new again. Uh, Speaking of kits, this uh, season's theme is all about flight. Uh, With the exception of one or two models, most of what you see behind me is going to be uh, included in this season. Actually, all of it's going to be included in this season. We're going to finish working on our Creature from the Black Lagoon uh, kit this season. Uh, We left left you all hanging last season once we got the the flesh tones on, and a lot of people have written me over the summer asking me to finish that kit and show them how we go about putting on uh, the the eyes and, and doing the hair so it looks realistic in the clothing and so on and so forth. So we're going to do that this season and uh, really take you through the steps and and uh, show you how that's all done. We're also going to do some special stuff with the creature this season that uh, you may not have seen done before. We're going to add some iridescent paints to give him that real fish look instead of giving him the Hollywood look in which he had because it was a very flat costume in terms of the way that it looked. There wasn't a lot of color variation. So we're going to try and punch that up a little bit by using iridescent paints. Um, now, Our theme this uh, season is all flight, so we are going to be doing the P-51D Mustang. Uh, We're going to do this up as a Tuskegee version, Uh, so uh, stick around for that. we got some photo etch, so we're going to get into a little bit more advanced stuff with photo etch on this kit. We have got the Eagle One from Space 1999. Now, I was a huge fan of this show when I was a kid. Uh, MPC and Round 2 have re-released this kit and a few others from the Space 1999 series. This was a fun kit to put together. It's not completely accurate, but you know what? Who cares? It's a kit. It's fun to build. And if you want to go crazy on it, and I've seen a few people over the summer going really, really uh out there and really cleaning it up and making it very much look like a miniature studio model. And they've done a great job. We may not go that far, but we are going to do some special stuff with this kit over the, over the uh, season as well. We've got the Ravel 172nd uh, scale space shuttle Atlantis that we're going to do. And now the space shuttle Atlantis, uh, this kit, this 172nd kit, I don't think as a space shuttle is available anymore. I could be wrong about that. Please check your your local hobby shop or check uh, PM Hobbycraft online at pmhobbycraft.com. And uh, they may be able to get the kit still for you. It's a great kit. It's got tons of parts in it. We're going to look at all those parts a little bit later on. Uh, this season and build the space shuttle. Uh, we are also going to build Christine this season because last season we picked up a board from our good friend Ralph Teneglia over at Tenet Controls, a, lo- a car lighting board, which we did a little sample of for you and showed you how it all worked. We breadboarded it up. Now this season we are going to put it into this car and we're going to bring Christine to life. So that's that's kind of the one thing that is not really flight, but you know, it's uh, it's a cool car, and, and I love the movie. We are also going to get to the NX-01 this season. We're going to finish that off by the end of the season. We've got two special episodes coming up, which will be live episodes this season. As always, we do our Christmas special, and uh, we are going to 
as always, bring you in on that, and that'll be a live show, and you'll get to interact with us uh, through the chat and that kind of stuff. And with me on that show is going to be some of my my great friends uh, that have been helping out uh, throughout um, uh, the season uh, or throughout the summer uh, that when I was unavoidably uh, taken away from the season. And first and foremost is Scratch and Jack Holter. Now, Scratch and Jack is a great guy. If you've ever watched one of his amazing plastic hangouts, he's done a fantastic job. Um, he brings the community together, and he's helped to keep our amazing plastic community growing and alive over the summer. And that's our, our community over on Google+. Plus. If you're not a member yet, go check it out. We're just under 1,000 people. And if we can get 1,000 people, I'll be, I'll be super happy. Uh, we're just over a year old now, and uh, it's grown more than I possibly thought it could. Uh, and I thank you all, everybody who is a member of Amazing Plastics community, to... Uh, to be there and and uh, learn from everybody there. We've got some great people. Uh, Phil Robson, uh, who is a great guy and is always ready to offer advice and does some wonderful builds himself. Also, last season we had Phil on the show and he talked a little bit about how to photograph your models for uh, display in your home and, and make them look really cool and all the tips and tricks and techniques that you need to photograph your model. Uh, Jay Barron from Evil Duck Creations. Uh, we also want to thank him because he's done a great job with Evil Duck and all the model building that he does. Uh, last season, you might remember, he did a little bit of molding and showed you how to do make your own molds of parts and, and things things like that, and some of the, the different uh, products that you could use inexpensively to get uh, a replacement part made in, in case you didn't want to wait for one. Um, I also want to thank Danny Monahan, who is known as the Armor King in our community. Uh, if you want to know anything about uh, World War II vehicles, uh, golf vehicles, anything that has to do with the military, uh, Danny's probably the guy you want to go to because he's uh, he's got a lot of knowledge in that area. And he's also a very fine model builder in his own right and has had some successes uh, with commissions, I believe, over the, over the summer as well. So we, uh, we give Danny a big hand and... Um, we want to see more from Danny on the site. Christina Pritchard, our lady of model, our, our first lady of model building from England. She's uh, She's been working on her car all summer, and uh, we are so happy for her that she got the, the car, her dream car, and she's been building models and got her own little workshop built, and it's fantastic. So I encourage you to check in with her on our Google Plus community as well. Uh, as for the website, the website is coming along. It is, uh, we've got a, a few tweaks to do to it uh, over the next few weeks, and you'll get to see all of the episodes up there in high definition, uh, 720p. You'll also get to see them over on our Google Plus community and on our YouTube page, so be sure to check that out. We will be migrating fairly soon uh, over to iTunes, so all of Season 1 and Season 2 will be going up onto iTunes. We have a new um, what else have we got in the news? We've got a new sponsor coming on board. We can't really talk about them yet, uh, but they are coming on board, and uh, the paperwork is signed, and everything is sealed and, and in the can. So we're we're really excited to have these guys as uh, as a sponsor for season two. Um, many of you have been asking me about the DVD, the basics of model building DVD from Amazing Plastic. Unfortunately, we didn't get time to work that into our schedule over the summer. Uh, so we are going to be filming it in in tandem with season two. Uh, so the DVD, uh, our basics of scale model building will be coming out in December, just in time for Christmas. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. Um, as always, you can get your, your amazing plastic apparel at our cafe press store. And if you're wondering how to get a hold of our cafe press store, just go to our Google plus community. There's a link there on the sidebar and, uh, you can, uh, just go over there and get yourself a t-shirt an apron, uh, whatever you like. I think there's coffee mugs up there and all kinds of good stuff. Um, now, with that being said, uh, I want to thank the sponsors that were with us all last season and some that are carrying through this season. Ralph Tenaglia from Tenet Controls, great guy. Uh, if you are looking for lighting board systems for your models, contact Ralph. He has got a huge variety of, of uh, boards available uh, for your starships, for your cars. And listen, if you're looking for something custom that he doesn't make or that he doesn't have on his website, he's always willing to help you out and 
try and get uh, a custom board for you. So that's Ralph at tenantcontrols.com. Go and check those guys out as well. Uh, I want to thank uh, Vallejo Paints, who helped us out with a lot of paints last season, and uh, we're going to continue to use their paints uh, over the course of Season 2 as well, as well as uh, other paints as, as we uh, see that we need them. Uh, I also want to thank the fine folks over at Iwata Medea for all the help that they gave the studio in Season 1 and continue to work with us in Season 2. Um, uh, you know, Iwata Medea has some of the best airbrushes on the market. They're easy to clean, they're easy to use, and uh, you know what, they, they lay down paint beautifully. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about airbrushing this season. Um, we're going to get a little bit more into detail, uh, how to use it for doing fine line stuff and that sort of thing. Uh, what else do we want to thank? We want to thank, uh, who else do we want to thank? We got lots of people to thank. PM Hobbycraft, who came on late last season um, to help us out with uh, a product code, which you can find over at our, our A-plus community and I believe on our website. Um, if you're looking for 10% off your next model purchase online, go to pmhobbycraft.com and uh, they will uh, be able to give you 10% off your next plastic model kit purchase. Uh, we'll also put that down here as well for you um what else uh, and who else i mean you know i do this show i don't script this show so i kind of do it off the cuff i'm always trying to remember things that I, I need to say and sometimes i miss things if i've missed you i apologize but let's get on to uh one of the kits that we're gonna re- we're gonna do a review today uh as opposed to doing uh actual work on a kit um we're gonna do a, a review today and the review that we're going to do Keeping in our theme of flight is the Airfix Avro Air, uh, Lancaster. This particular model kit is an all-new tooling uh, from Airfix. This is a, a wonderful kit. We're going to go to the bench right away, and we're going to check out uh, what's in the box. We're going to open up all the bags, and uh, we'll show you exactly what's changed uh, with Airfix this season. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Let's get to the bench. <laughs> All right, so here we are with the Airfix Avro Lancaster 172nd scale B1 FE B3. This is a brand new tooling uh, from Airfix. This is a skill level 3 model kit. Um, and uh, it's amazing what they've done with their new toolings. The new toolings have, have shown uh, to be a big success and it's really put uh, Airfix back on the map as being a high quality kit. So let's uh, open up the box and see what we got. So inside we have your typical plastic uh, bags. Uh, and actually everything is, is in one big bag with the exception of all of the um, clear parts. We're going to take a look at the, we'll get rid of that. We're going to take a look at the instructions. Now, this is a huge instruction book. It comes in several different languages. Very well laid out, very detailed. Uh, as you can see, there's tons of detailed uh, instructions on how to put together the model kit. Um, and there's some inner structure to help the wings stay uh, stable so that they don't sag on you as well. Just an amazing amount of detail uh, on this kit for being a 172nd scale. A fairly thick book. Now they've also got a paint scheme in here as well. So it tells you all the colors that you want. Oh, I got that upside down. Now. They, they tell you all the colors that you may want to paint the, the Avro Lancaster on both sides. So there's three different ways that you can paint this model. It shows, it shows you all the markings and, and where all the decals go. And here are the decals. Uh, they're, they're done very nice uh, with a matte finish on them. The matte finish uh, should be really good when you're, when you're putting this model together. Um, there's not a lot of uh, overlay of uh, extra material from the, from the decals. So uh, all the decals you need to do this kit are inside, and they're done very, very well. There's even some some uh, decals for dashboards and, and things like that. Very well done. Put those aside. 
Hello, Hello membership, membership uh, uh, propaganda, propaganda, so you, so you can, can join, join the Airfix, Airfix Club, Club if you, you want to be a member. member. So, so a total, total of 40 or 21 pages, uh, 109 assembly um, instructions, so you've got 109 steps to go through to get this done. And then, of course, on the back, they show you some extras where you can, uh, so that you can purchase some extra armaments for it. Uh, from them as well, and it's very, very cool. And then, of course, it comes with a stand, uh, or you can, uh, or pardon me, it doesn't come with a stand, but you can buy a stand from Airfix if you want to put it on a stand, or you can make your your own custom stand as well. All right, let's dig into this. Now it is a sealed package, but there's a lot of package there. It's done in sort of a blue grace um, material. Of course, I'm going to open it like I shouldn't, but probably cut this bag now. The nice thing about this is that they've got no staples, and that's one thing that, uh, to me, it does, is they put a lot of staples in their stuff, uh, in their bags, and sometimes you can scratch um, the parts. Now, we've got the canopies here. And uh, I just want to make sure that there's not too much uh, glare on there. Now, I'm not going to take the canopy clear parts out just because uh, I don't want them to get scratched. And uh, uh, they look fairly clear from here. Um, it doesn't appear that there's too much in the way of, of uh, distortion in the clear parts. So I would, uh, I would definitely say they've done a great job on their, on their clear parts here. Let's go on to the first tree. On the first tree, we've got some energy cowlings, and looking at the detail, I'm not sure how close we can get there, but you can see on the detail here on these energy cowlings that uh, these things are absolutely amazing. Um, they're cut in, they're not really wide. They're, uh, they're cut in, I would say, to scale pretty much um a lot of times you'll find or several times you'll find uh kits that although they, they cut in the panel lines the panel lines are either too wide or too deep and these just seem to to balance out really well with this kit um it's clean there's there's no flash on this as well you have two different styles of props depending on which uh which particular one you want to make and uh or which particular arrow a lancaster that you're going to do so you've got two different styles of props you've got some nose cones over here uh your exhaust for your engines and covers and so on and so forth a great little sprue of parts and again very clean i don't see any um, mold lines on any of the stuff that is going to hinder you that you'll have to do a lot of cleaning up. On the next one, a little bit smaller tree. Uh, these are your Bombay doors, some of your interior uh, strut parts, uh, one of the pilots, and a number of other parts as well. Again, looking at the detail on this, beautifully done. There are some very, very small parts, so I can understand why this is a skill level three. So this is definitely not for anybody who is looking to um, build one of these for the first time. If you're a first time model builder, you might want to start with something a little bit easier. We've got two sprues here, another small one. Again, this has some inner backing walls, um, some strut pieces. Uh, some, some more door pieces, and uh, it is just fantastic. And again, looking, looking at the detail and mold and seam lines on this, it's it's actually there's none there. I mean, this, this is really, really well done. done. Um, I know with the older Airfix kits, one of the biggest complaints was there was a lot of flash and and things like that. And uh, flash is a product of old molds. Uh, so if you get a, a a model kit that has uh, a lot of flash on it. Typically, that means that the mold has gotten fairly old and it's now not sealing properly when they put the, the molten plastic into the injection molds. And uh, this does not appear to have that issue whatsoever. Airfix has really stepped up their game. Now, on this sprue, we've got a piece of the fuselage here. 
as we can see. And let me tell you that from the door at the back right through to the nose of this thing, it is incredibly done. Um, very well put, to, uh, very well molded, very well sculpted. Uh, there's a little bit of a texture to the body of the plane, and I think that's that's probably on purpose because it's also on the on the wings itself. Now, the reason that that would be there is I think they're probably trying to reproduce um, the metal hammered metal texture of the plates that uh, were on the, the side of the plane anyway. I mean, although it was sheet metal that went into a lot of uh, putting these planes together, aluminum uh, and that kind of thing, uh, aluminum oxidizes over time and uh, so does steel. And it can become pitted and, you know, the texture on this is just amazing. Uh, very well done. The wings look like they'll go together fairly cleanly. And uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of sanding. My, I think my one disappointment is that they didn't do rubber wheels. Um, Airfix uh, probably could have done some rubber wheels there uh, with a hub, and uh, it probably would have made it look a little bit better. Although it does have the the wheel bulge from where it would sit on the ground, um, I'm all, I'm never really a big fan of, of solid plastic wheels. Uh, so maybe we'll, what we'll end up doing is we'll try and put in a uh, a bit of a tread on these because they're quite smooth. There's no tread on them. I think we kind of missed the mark on that one. But uh, other than that, I mean, there's there's really not a whole lot you can complain about when it comes to this kit. And uh, on the last last one is identical to the one that we just looked at. Look at the detail on the inside of the wings. I mean, this is amazing. Uh, when you uh, when you see the landing gear down, it's got all that nice rib detail. It's got some of the aileron uh, and uh, flap detail uh, already molded in there. Uh, as far as injection pin moldings go, uh, you're never going to see the injection pin moldings on the outside of this kit because I've been, now that I'm looking at this, I'm seeing that there's absolutely none. Uh, some kits you, you'll find uh, will have a, a little marking or a divot where the injection pin uh, had pushed out while the plastic was still hot. This kit doesn't have that whatsoever. Um, it's, it's fantastically put together. Here's one of those struts that goes between the wings, this guy right here, and that helps to keep your wings uh, at the proper angle that they should be. There's some nice detail on the inside of that fuselage as well. Like, look at that. Like, that is amazing. For a nice small, there's even cockpit detail in there. Let me see if I can get that nice and close for you. There's some cockpit detail in there. Like, that is incredible. So they've done a really good job. I guess my only complaint uh, with the kit is the uh, the lack of, of rubber wheels. But, I mean, if that's my only complaint, I shouldn't be complaining at all because it's a wonderful kit. And uh, retail, I think I paid uh, $42 for this kit. Um, well worth every penny that I paid. I think that uh, anybody that's wanting to get this kit... Uh, should get this kit, and uh, if you're a fan of World War II planes, then uh, this is definitely a plane for you. And uh, you can paint it up, like I said, in many different uh, styles and colors. And uh, hey, be adventurous. Do something different. Um, look at some of the uh, Avro Lancasters that were out there. Uh, there's a whole book available on the internet for the Avro Lancaster. It tells you about the difference arrows that, that flew and what countries they flew from and uh, look at that detail again that's amazing uh, the book is put together is put together really really well so there you have it the Avro Lancaster B1 uh, from Airfix brand new tooling brand new kit and uh, we're going to head back uh, to the other camera
Well, that's our show for today. We looked at the uh, Avril Lancaster B1 uh, from Aerofix. What a great kit. I'm so looking forward to building this. This is going to be done a little bit later on in the season. Uh, as I said, we've got a real special treat coming up for you uh, in a few episodes. My good friend Robert Litwin from the local chapter of Starfleet International, which uh, here in Calgary is called the USS King Edward. Uh, he's got a model of the Defiant that he built when he was a kid. And instead of going and buying a new model, he decided that he wanted to try and rebuild the model uh, by taking it apart, putting it in the freezer. And we're going to show you all that uh, in an upcoming episode. And uh, then he wants to light it. And hopefully everything will work out. If not, he'll be buying a new model. But uh, we hope that everything is going to work out for him. Um, there's a couple of things I want to mention. Uh, like I said, next week we are going to get back into, or the next show, I won't say next week, because the show now is every second week. It's every second Monday. And we are going to be getting back into the Creature from the Black Lagoon kit. We're going to finish off uh, the victim and uh, show you some of the paint techniques that go into that to making her look a little bit more realistic. Um, and uh, we're going to show you some footage of a make and take that we did at uh, our sponsor, PM Hobbycraft. That's coming up as well. Uh, what else we got coming up this season? As I said, we got all these wonderful kits coming up. If there's something you want to see me do here on the show, um, then please drop me an email. Uh, and you can uh, you can find our email over at our our website um just drop me an email directly from the website and that's amazingplastic.com uh or you can uh you can actually come to one of our hangouts uh scratch and jack holzer is the host of the amazing plastic across the pond hangout and the amazing plastic hangout which is more of a north american domestic hangout um and he does those every second week i believe uh if i'm wrong jack will correct me uh we also uh want to tell you about um uh, some interviews that'll be coming up with, uh, some industry professionals. Now these aren't, uh, just guys who build model kits, uh, and have fun doing it as a hobby, but these are professionals that work behind the scenes in Hollywood. And, uh, we're going to bring you one of those interviews very, very soon before the, uh, end of, uh, the first half of season two. Um, we've got a live hangouts, uh, to end off our season, uh, in December. So we do take a three week holiday in, in December, uh, just to kind of recharge our batteries and get through the Christmas season and that sort of stuff. So I hope that you will join me. Uh, please check us out on the web at amazingplastic.com, our Google Plus community at Google Plus. Um, and uh, you can find us also on YouTube as well, and pretty soon on iTunes. Thanks very much for joining me. I'm Richard. And just remember, it's only a model until you make it amazing. Until next time, everybody.